So now in this video, we're going to look at the PNP bipolar junction transistor. I'm using a 2N3906. This is the pin layout, left pin emitter base uh, collector. But when you swivel it so that the flat side is to the left, now it's emitter on top, base in the middle, and collector down there. Remember, you got to put the LED in the right way or it will not light up. Now, when I close the switch, we have a capacitor up here to the current limiting resistor and the switch um, when I let go may not uh, be you know in the board solidly but doesn't really matter at this point we just need that basically to charge the capacitor and also while the switch is closed um, it's gonna make sure the LED stays lit it's making sure the capacitor stays fully charged and the LED stays lit and then I release it now this is a short circuit you can see to ground right there so Probably be a good idea to add a low value resistor right there, but um, you don't really need to if it's 100 microfarad or whatever, but probably a good idea to prevent a rapid surge in current. We will zoom back here and look at the power supply. So right now no current flowing because uh, the transistor is off. There's no path for current to flow at all until I press the button. And uh, I do have current limit on here, so capacitor is not gonna charge instantly. I already have uh, current protection and that's not a ton of current when it comes to a rapid flow into the capacitor but you can see that it charged really quick so I got 13 milliamps of current on there when I release the button it's gonna stay at 13 milliamps of current for a short period of time and now it's drifting its way down as the capacitor discharges so that's how this circuit works it doesn't turn off instantly and we have a you know kind of a cool down period where it gets a little dimmer at the end there we could you know make some modifications to make this last longer larger value capacitor if you go 10 times a thousand microfarad instead of 100 microfarad the, the process is going to take 10 times longer using the same uh, resistor right there you can also adjust this resistor value but there are limits if you need a real long period of time there's better options than what we got here but uh, you can see how simple it is to take a capacitor to make it so that the transistor does not shut off instantly. This is a debounce option. So in uh, other videos, I like press the button and um, you know it turned the load on, but uh, something went wrong. It didn't make a perfect connection. Usually, it doesn't make a perfect connection right when you press it. It uh, bounces. It'll like connect, uh, disconnect, or whatever. And when you first get that connection, the capacitor will uh, charge extremely rapidly and uh, so within that bounce probably and so if you briefly lose it the load doesn't turn off so we just uh, de-switched this uh, or de-bounced I mean this switch circuit right here using a PNP bipolar junction transistor let's look at it more closely so as I said before emitter towards the uh, positive supply right there because it's facing to the left. Base is the middle and collector to the right. If you're using a different transistor, good chance the pin layout will be different. If it starts with 2N though, it's a bipolar junction transistor, this is probably the pin layout. But if it starts with uh, other uh, other than 2N, uh, good chance it has a different pin layout. I always look at the data sheet. So you can see we got positive supply to emitter and then the base. When we close the switch, we have a current path uh, through there. and a small amount of current through the emitter to base right there since it's PNP allows many many times that amount of current maybe 300 times so just be aware of that this is a uh, plenty of current right there to light an LED we could you know probably light three maybe four of them in a parallel like this uh, before they start demanding more current than the transistor will let through based on the current we got through there but now we also have the capacitor right there. We close this. You can see we got positive there, negative there. That charges the capacitor. And since we have the capacitor going to the positive supply, which is the most positive part of the circuit, that's where we put the positive side of the capacitor right there. This is polarized. That's uh, negative where the gray band is. Also where the shorter lead is. So you got to put it in the right way. Always make sure that... Uh, the more positive side of the capacitor is on the part of the circuit that's going to have a more positive uh, voltage than the uh, negative side of the capacitor. So 
we have that. We close the switch and it charges. Now, also current's flowing through there. We open the switch. As I said before, current was thrown, uh, flowing through there, but we open the switch. That current can't flow that way anymore. But now we got negative here. Positive there, negative there. This is a direct connection uh, right there. And even though we separated it from the power supply, now this is more negative. So positive side of the power supply, we can still go to the negative side of the capacitor. Current uh, keeps uh, flowing. Electrons flow that way to be more uh, accurate but usually we follow the path of conventional current. And so the capacitor uh, discharges through this resistor, so it takes a while. It's through a resistor, but that little current flow through there allows many times to go through here. As the capacitor balances its two plates right there, they get you know pretty close to the same uh, voltage, the amount of charge on each side. Less and less current's gonna flow through that uh, resistor right there and that's why we saw the current fade down instead of like cutting off uh, instantly because we did get to where when you go from uh, you know this might say 12 when I close this uh, we're pretty close um, but uh, there you go it actually says 12 we're probably like bordering like 13 and I had some switch bumps that's why we saw um, a little CC moving over there we have a maximum of 20 milliamps of current uh, that can flow. There we go, we got 13. Maybe it's because the transistor is warming up too. But in uh, any case, about 13 milliamps of current. Um, this is uh, saturated. Transistor is not limiting the current, the load is. Once the current starts going down, that's when the transistor is limiting how much current. That's called the active region. And then once the transistor is off completely, because there is no emitter to base current, um, then that is called the cutoff region right there so there's a lot of terminology with transistors but I'm focused mostly on what's going on not as much technology I meant to say terminology not technology and uh, there's a garbage truck making noise and so I cut that scene but uh, in any case we're back to this I'm not worried uh, terribly about getting you know accurate uh, terminology and stuff through here we're just doing the demonstration circuit. You should be reading about this as well, or just watching videos where they, they talk about the basics and go through all the terminology. This is more about the demonstration circuit right there and how easy it is to put it together. You should practice making demonstration circuits based on uh, what you are told. So we have the uh, transistor here. Again, when it comes to terminology, this is a high side switch. The PMP bipolar junction transistor wired as a switch is a high side switch. It could also be a high side uh, current source or whatever. What that means is you can see we got the emitter to the positive supply. The load is to the negative supply right there. We consider that the higher voltage and we consider that zero volts the lower voltage uh, ground. And uh, we may have even like another lower voltage that goes to the negative supply. Um, but usually um, if there's only a positive and negative supply to it then that's the lowest voltage so any case this is towards the higher side of the voltage the positive supply right there closer to the positive supply than the load hopefully that makes sense so um yeah that's really about it so hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos i'm posting the screen and check out the links down below they all help a lot i'll see you in the next video